Fine sweeper. That guy seriously doesn't know when to stop. That guy built Tetris in scrap mechanic, Doom in scrap mechanic, Snake in scrap mechanic, and probably even more. Well, let's have a look at uh, Minesweeper then. So we've got a total of 8,000 logic gates. Oh my god, this is probably gonna, yeah, this is, yeah, it's okay. Um, I still cannot move. And yeah, it's kind of laggy. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much blue. Can we already just start playing? So I'll just shoot my spot gun somewhere and yeah, I cannot use it. One hour later. I think, uh, I think the game is working. Maybe you should just um, read the workshop description if you really want to know how to play this. Yeah, the two is kind of risky and I think there's seven bombs in game. So we could now do the math and probably play this game or just shoot into a random other place and hope I'm not gonna die. So since all of these fields uh, have a one on them, there's definitely bomb down there. Wait, if this one has a one, there must be a bomb. But if this one is also one, it means this field is clear. Look, I'm really smart. Yeah, if I identified five bombs already in these places, so the last two bombs and these four squares. I think this square is uh, clear, so I think I just won Minesweeper. Oh my god, this is incredible. Most amazing about logic creations is this whole thing is just the screen, and this little thing down here is probably just the logic of the actual game, you know, together with this stuff. Yeah, that guy is probably the most innovative workshop builder right now, so you may want to watch out for him in the future. Happy Star Wars Day! May the 4th be with you. Why does it work so well with the Haybot? Like, I could legit imagine a Haybot having multiple arms. But our mechanic is trying to refine him. Like, some of the artworks people do are just amazing. And this is definitely one of those things. The longer I look, the more I realize how I totally screwed up Obi-Wan's hand. I mean, yeah, he may have broken his hand. Multi-core workload distribution hard. A game like Scrap Mechanic, devs deciding to only take advantage of one of the cores for some reason. Like if you look in the Scrap Mechanic console, it literally says starting task manager with 12 threads. Like I'm not saying the Scrap Mechanic engine is great. It totally isn't. But it's not like they're not distributing the workload across multiple cores at all. The engineer gloves are sus. Engineer gloves. This is not the first time that someone notices this though. But yeah, they do look incredibly sus. Don't mess with us scrap mechanic fans. We're starving for new content and we will cry. Well, porting the Wrath Mechanic mod almost made me cry. But yeah, this was 25 days ago. So yeah, we, we finally got the update, like literally yesterday. <laughs> but I'm really hoping more modders will do custom games because they have huge potential. More than just 10 extra challenges. I may have just stumbled across the most useful glitch in Scrap Mechanic history. Now, that's not a headline you read every day, so I'm excited. Okay, so they start by building a platform. Then they place down two bearings, connect them with blocks, and then they get connected to the steering. Oh my god, this is not gonna end well. Wait, what? How is this possible? This is like a four by, f no, a two by two bearing. Oh my god, I'm actually really mind blown right now. I'm not going to believe it if I can see it with my own eyes. Wait, um, if I can't, I, you know what I mean. All right, moment of truth, and it legit works. What in the world is going on? This is crazy, it's a two by one bearing. So does it mean I could, in theory, make a two by two bearing now? Oh my goodness, guys, we've got a two by two bearing. This is literally possible. Okay, does this also work with a controller? Like, are they saying we had two by two bearings the entire time? No, this does not work. Apparently this only, wait, wait guys, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is working. This is odd. Uh, they should rotate 40, like five degree and yet they're not doing it. Oh my god, okay, I think this has to do with this M jank. Because if I uh, lower the physics, oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> now, what I believe is um, the way the bearings work, they still have some flexibility. Because, you know, we all know what happens when you stack a lot of bearings like this. Like, yeah, eventually you get some real M um, bearing sag. And I think it's something similar going on with the steering. Which, as you can see on physics one, this is getting really, really weird. Yeah, let's put this thing on a loop and see what happens. Um, I don't think this is how you want your two by two bearing to be. Oh my goodness. What is this magic? I now just activated one bearing and this is like, this is literally moving by one block. What is this? <laughs> Guys, I think we just found a really new amazing glitch. 
Like, I cannot wait to see what you can build with this. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is so cursed. So yeah, I guess take my free Reddit reward for the day. So I found out how animated workshop thumbnails are possible. Well, remember the Kivian guy I was talking about? He managed to upload GIFs as thumbnails for the workshop, which is really amazing, because some things you can show a lot better in a video. Like his piston engine, for example. And so if you're interested, here uh, left some instructions on here. I made a contraption that throws car batteries into the ocean. Now imagine this would be the raft mechanic ocean, because you're not gonna get a lot of batteries there. And this is probably the solution to our problem. I mean, basically it's just a catapult, he drops a battery and then... Oh, I guess he uses gas engines to... Why? Why is this upvoted so much? Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Yeah, I don't really understand this. <laughs> Guys, I figured it out. So they're playing scrap mechanic, they zoom up to the do not enter sign and that's it. Oh my god, it's so the bots do not attack the crops. This is so stupid. Farmers hate this man for this simple trick. Like guys, if you don't want bots to destroy your farm, I've made a whole video on how you can build an indestructible farm for basically free. And I guarantee you that still works. Unlike this, I would highly doubt this. Is this possible to make? Gear system that changes speed and direction. Uh, there's a gears mod, I showcased it in my top 10 mods for creative scrap mechanic. You can see these parts need a lot of precision to work and with the way hitboxes work in scrap mechanic, you would probably have to make your own models and collisions and oh god, it's really weird. Or maybe not. Yes it is. Oh, oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, what am I looking at? This looks cursed and genius at the same time. Oh my god, this really looks like the post. Um, so yeah, forgot what I said. Apparently you can make it work if it's kind of huge. Realistic forklift. So yeah, we've uh, got a forklift here. Five minutes of forklift content, to be honest. Oh, he's near the trader, so I think he's gonna pick up some crates. Like, yeah, they're literally at the right side of the screen. Okay, now he's getting close to the explosive crate and he can actually lift it, which... Oh god, I can see... Oh, I think he needs to angle it so the thing doesn't, um, like, slide off right away because of janky scrap mechanic physics. Why can he wiggle that thing around? It's kind of odd. I would constantly be afraid the thing drops down and explodes right in front of my forklift. Dude, if that guy built this in vanilla survival without cheating or mods... Like, giant respect from me, like, this would- I would not have the patience to grind all the resources. Now, yeah, what we all wanna see, though, is the actual crate, and... No, he's just using the bubble plastic blocks to lift the crate up so you can actually pick it up, and... Oh my god, the entire thing is about to, like, tip over because the crate is so heavy. But yeah, this is fantastic. F22, no mods. Alright, so we've got an, um, jet plane over here. And yeah, I don't know much about planes, but... You have the suspension glitch and stuff, which makes building flyers a lot easier. Still, this is really, um, impressive. But then again, I don't really know much about fly- Oh my god, he just dropped bombs! That is really impressive, to be honest. Not just alone that the thing flies, because I don't know anything about flyers, really, but vanilla bombs that drop off. Wow. I mean, you can see that's literally just some, uh, spot guns next to the bombs, and then they- Yeah, they just drop up amazingly. Great job. We were doing so well. Our scrap mechanic days without incomprehensible or misspelled post titles. And what happened then is we've got posts like this. No functionally wheels he said and shame lol. You might remember the it's connect but also not right. If so, then this is my vision. Harvesting this is so satisfying. How's everyone life in survival going? Oh my god, I see so many blueberries. And oh my god, that's gonna be a giant raid, but I think he has some good farm defense. Yeah, now the entire uh, plants disappear instantly. Oh wait, he actually has automated turrets and stuff. Yeah, this is definitely the simplest layout for an uh, auto farm. Because I've built one once, which only used one vacuum pump, which is a lot cheaper, but that thing is such a laggy mess. <laughs> Same goes for my saw blade wall. I think the potato defenses would probably be better. Oh my god, what? wait, wait. Is there like, it's a giant water wheel spinning in the background. Yeah, over here. Man, some people really spend a lot of time in survival. Axelot has already updated the workshop to have world and custom game categories. Yeah, I think I forgot that in my latest video to mention. You can now upload entire worlds to the workshop, like I've made this moon world, which I wanted to use in my custom game, but maybe that actually now works with the update. 
Yeah, the entire tile editor also got a rework. So yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot more epic tiles now. It's like really exciting times on the workshop right now. Guys, it's a real turret seat. I just have bad graphics. Oh my god, I can't wait to see this. Uh, dude, they actually have a turret seat? How did they do this? Because I think it's using buttons, which we cannot see because, uh, you know, the UI is hidden. But yeah, if you just uh, use a lot of bearings, this is uh, actually possible at the moment. But since we cannot create our own joints that move stuff and so on, I could just mod a part into the game. You could connect to bearings and then the bearings would always move towards uh, where you're looking. And then you can kind of build your own turret seats. But Immortal Joe's Giga Horse from Mad Max Furry Road. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up oh my god <laughs> um, it's called fury road yeah i'm really sorry for mispronouncing that no i don't exactly know the french oh my god this looks epic exactly what i wanted to say i don't know the franchise but this looks epic and that guy is actually using the desert world custom game mod i made oh wait uh, he just uses a new creative world he made. I'm stupid. But yeah, the suspension on this is amazing. I wish I could build suspensions. Oh no, Scrap Mechanic has invaded my computer. Um, they just put a bearing in front of every logo on the desktop. Usually I would just say this is Photoshop, but you can see it's, it's a picture with your smartphone. Actually, if th this legit happens to some people, it's kind of funny, not gonna lie. It's like, oh, you wanna play Bloons TD? How about you play Scrap Mechanic instead? Help, I'm trapped. And they literally have a cage in the main menu. Like, how is this even possible? Oh, that's how they did it. They changed the player coordinates, so usually... You stand like here in the main menu and they just change the position in the game files right into the cage. That's really creative. I built a portal to space in the main menu. Yeah, this actually looks really sick. Maybe I'm gonna make a space mod at some point with space gravity. I kind of want to do that. And I also really like the duck that's on the top of the spaceship. Lifts. Well, yeah, you can spam lifts if you just have an auto clicker. You can have multiple lifts, it's kinda weird. But what's even weirder is that this guy plays down lifts for like 15 minutes straight just to get one screenshot on Reddit. Oh my god, and the comments are filled with bad puns. I love playing Scrap Mechanic, just look at my hour count. First off, it's just 67 degrees Fahrenheit, missed opportunity. They have 68% battery life, missed opportunity. However, they have 6969 hours, nice, on Scrap Mechanic. Which I think makes more than up for it, but 7k hours is quite a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. It's really hard to get 7,000 hours in this game, but I know very few people that have similar numbers. So it's probably possible if you really have no life. I made a burger cart. And yeah, here we have another amazing cookbot build. Like, people just really love doing this. Now, actually, I'm kind of disappointed they did not actually place down a burger you can craft. Because now he could be selling pretty much everything. How do you know he's selling burgers? Could be selling baby walks to you. I mean, I guess it's basically what ends up being your burger, but... I'm sorry, what? So they selected both guns at the same time. They are dual wielding guns in this game. Wait, can someone make a mod so you can dual wield items? That would probably be really hard to do, but it would be cool. Found Globuck while diving. Caring tips, anyone? So someone made a real Globuck. What kind of material is this made of? Is it like clay? Feed cardboard daily. I actually made a whole video just on how to make uh, keep glow bugs alive. And actually, you don't need to feed them at all if you just give them regular hugs. It's made from ceramic. I guess it's pretty close to clay. But yeah, when do we get scrap mechanic merch? People really love glow bugs. Like a glow bug plush would be so nice. Does this count as fan art? Like dressing our OCs to make them look like they are from the game. I mean, yes, I do not see why this is not fan art. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I cannot draw. Oh my god, I didn't even mention this either. Axolot fixed the horn GUI. Like, remember how the horn was broken for two years? For freaking two years. But now they suddenly drop a uh, fix the horn GUI. It is incredible. Like, it was a running joke that they never fixed the horn GUI, and they finally did it. Like, this is to be one of the best times for scrap mechanics since the survival release. Because now, yeah, we actually have a pitch. Yeah, it doesn't make a preview sound, but if I just connect it to a button, it finally works. This is so cool. Ah, scrap mechanic bingo. Oh my god, I found two mechanic stations. It's such a classic. Tape bots are too hard. Yeah, they really need to nerf them. There's a lot of concepts about new bots. There's a lot of Lego bots too. 
cross post of a real truck carrying too much. This is this ass scrap mechanic in a nutshell. <laughs> Nighttime screenshot with no lights. This is so frustrating. Sometimes in my videos, I literally turn off the brightness when it's nighttime so you can see something. I'm so glad I finally added the skipping nighttime to the Wrath Mechanic mod, because if you record videos, it's so much better. Just tinkering around in Unity's, I, I mean, Scrap Mechanic particle system. Yeah, they've added a whole new particle system in the new editor, which is really cool, but I don't want to touch particles at all. I made a little different mech. All right, so what kind of mech is this? It's a clown riding like a unicycle with a scythe. Oh my god, this is so weird. Why is this a vanilla world? Why is the clown talking? If you play Scrap Mechanic at 2 a.m. and this thing walks across your survival world at night. Wait, there's actually gr a great content idea. But why? Why would you build this? I present to you the plank machine. So, okay, this is a uh, sawmill essentially, where he um, is chopping up this birch tree. Oh my god, I think I know what's gonna happen. So, this is getting now refined into scrap wood blocks. Then there's a bunch of vacuum pumps, I assume. And they move wood blocks. Uh, yes, okay, so they place a bunch of uh, scrap wood blocks on some cardboard. Yep, then the uh, spot guns fire and you get a little plank out at the end. Actually, I want to make a mod where the vacuum pumps could place every part down that's like in the game. I'm not sure if I can actually make that, but let me know if you would be interested. Because I think, like, imagine being making a robot that can build itself, and then it just keeps duplicating, and within like 20 minutes your entire world is filled with them. It would be so funny. Extremely tight fit. Uh, so this is, a oh, those are cannons. And oh my god, there's not a lot of space in between them when they rotate. Oh my god, how does this- <laughs> Wait, good job, mate, if you can build, um, such precise turrets. My line following bot prototype testing. This will, I don't know, I'm wondering why not more people are trying to build AI um, cars. I like how they actually um, cut the video in a way. Yeah, actually, if you wanted to build a line following robot, it's actually not that easy. Like, there's a bunch of logic on this car for a reason, but this is epic. Like, if this runs on controllers, you could... But it would be cool to have, like, a car that constantly goes between the mechanic station and the trader. And then you could just put things on it and it would just slowly drive up to the trader where you could, I don't know, pick them up later or something. It would be epic. It's almost like having a train track, but without the train and the track. New truck I made. But yeah, they also installed um, a custom gun mod, which is, um, I'm not promoting any guns here. Uh, so yeah, we've got a truck, which is actually in a hall to my city tile, which is pretty far up on the workshop for reasons. The tile is pretty epic and I hope now that with the update being public, he can work more on the tile because I think he placed down so many assets that the tile editor just gave up. But since you can now make custom wheels, oh god, this would be so exciting. I don't know, we'll see what comes out of this. But yeah, I guess this is also a nice truck. Radio launcher. See, they're actually playing with vanilla music. Okay, this is kind of disappointing. Oh, wait. Yeah, radios are actually playing. Nice. Wait, is it just me? Or does the radio look kind of sus? Yeah, I'm sorry. A new raft. Reinforced advanced freight transport for Mars colony. For a second, I thought it was about raft mechanic. So far, I haven't seen a single post about raft mechanic on here. But yeah, we might have a... Uh, slash RAF mechanic bred it at some point, I don't know. Anyway, okay, sadly this is not a video. I would love to see this thing fly. I mean, if this flies, this looks really, really good. Okay, he's using a lot of modded parts. It probably flies. There's definitely something that can make something fly. This is great. I think Scrapman will be happy. Pick up mini drill survival. Oh my god, I can't wait to see this. This is a whole... <laughs> okay, I would have hoped there would be a video or something. But I think from the screenshots, we can tell what's going on. They're actually carrying their little mining vehicle around. It is so cool. Well, well, how are the turntables? What? Okay, he turned the table's turn. Oh my god, this is this too much Reddit today. Okay, so it's this tile and... Oh, <laughs> the keyboard got stuck in the cage. How did he even get in there? Usually it's just farmers that get stuck there. Just came home from a little raid. I mean, still, this is like 
70 component kits seems enough for one max thruster. Like, the sad truth is, this is true. Thrusters need so many component kits. I hope we're gonna see a custom game with balancing. I was bored. Probably most people on this Reddit. And wait, he reposted an image he already... What? Anyway, he built some nice homes in his main menu. Maybe I should put something else in my main menu than the sunshake ad I, I've been having there for so long. I finished it. Wait, isn't that? Yeah, we just saw this bomber plane. Oh my god, it has a whole, whole built-in gyroscope. Of course it has a gyroscope. A control system. Yeah, um, grammar is not the strength of Reddit. Just listen to this. This is kind of cursed. <laughs> What I would find really interesting is to know how the devs actually created this sound. Because for like some of the Minecraft sounds, they used the recording of a cat screaming and played that backwards. Finally! Alright, let's see what uh, finally happened. They're removing some metal blocks. There's some bunch of sensors and... Oh, this is so epic. Oh my god, this is so cool. Wait, what? Skateboard, no complex steering, it's all in the legs. What does that even mean? Oh my god, what is this? Okay, it is a really, really tiny car, and you can actually move this around just uh, by moving yourself around. And oh, this was using the crouch stuff before. Like now in the update, they made it so if you crouch, you no longer have weight. So I don't think this works with the new update anymore, which is really sad. This wood farm bot I built before survival. This is really cool. Like, why did you not post this before though? <laughs> so it has been just sitting on your desk for like two years. <laughs> nice Toshiba microwave man. Oh, it's a microwave. I first thought it was like his computer. <laughs> okay, now what happens if you microwave farm bots? Don't try this at home. I did not say this. I made a car without any connections. Now, this is really interesting. Whoa, this is even fast, and it also seems to work well, but yeah, okay, it's using the suspension glitch. Still, kind of impressive. <laughs> How to make piston engine in literally 10 seconds? Please, educate me. I really don't know. Uh, yeah, I, uh, this is playing the dream speedrun. Oh my god, how is he so fast? Wait, what? Oh my... <laughs> Dude, this is a really simple design, but it works. <laughs> I don't think you can power a real car this way, but that's, that's, that's funny. Oh my god, I wish I knew how to build good suspension. <laughs> Maybe I can just mod myself a suspension. But I think that's been enough for last month's worth of uh, Scrap Mechanic Reddit posts. Let me know if you want to see more, and uh, yeah, subscribe, I guess. I also reviewed some pretty cool Steam community stuff if you're interested. Uh, there's probably a video somewhere now in the end card.